Good evening, everybody. We're going to call the meeting of April 12th, 2018 to order. Ben, can I have the roll call, please? Deputy Mayor Chair. Here. Council Members Long. Here. Napolitani. Here. Shepika. Here. And Mayor Sociano. Here. Everybody, please rise for a pledge of allegiance and then please remain standing for a moment of silent prayer thereafter. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. The open public meeting act for this meeting has been satisfied. A copy of the onion notice was sent to the Asbury Park Press, coaster, posted in town hall, and filed in the office of the municipal clerk on December 28th, 2017. There are two fire exits, one to my right, which will take you out to the parking lot here in the front, and then one to my left that kind of meanders down the hall and does the same thing, brings you back out to the parking lot. If you have a cell phone, we ask that you please turn the volume off you can keep an eye if you want to take pictures of us for whatever reason, that's fine, and add it to your collage, but the volume we need to have off. If you need to make a call, kindly go out into the hallway. You can do that then. Tonight we're going to have a budget presentation and uh, an adoption here, but before we do that, we're going to go down the line and see if we have any council reports. John, you have anything for us tonight? No, I have nothing tonight. Great. Donna, you have anything? Yes, I do. A couple things. One, um, tomorrow, or Saturday at 9 a.m., um, the Deal Lake Spring Cleanup is going to take place in um, at Asbury Park. They're going to meet by the boat ramp on um, the 15th, which is Sunday, with a rain date of the 22nd. There's going to be clean sweep. Everybody meets over at the Oakhurst Park meeting room. Um, on April 14th also, Joe, Joe, at Joe Palaya Park at 10 a.m., the TOGS program is going to have a color, what they call a color run. It's a three-mile course, and it's a lot of fun, and registration begins at um, 9 a.m. for that. On the 21st of April, there is a, a 21st at the library from 10 to 3, a 2018 Green Fest. It's the 8th Annual Green Fest. Also, on June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd is the Community Garage Sale. And that will be on, we'll have a application online um, around April 23rd. Um, so you can um, fill out an application. There is no charge for it. And there will be advertising about the garage sale in Ocean Township here. And I think that's all. Okay, thanks, Donna. Rich, you have something for us? Yes, I do, Mayor. A couple of items. The first, it seems like a long, long time ago. Yes. But uh, I want to publicly salute Councilwoman Shepika for the outstanding St. Patrick's Day event. It was a terrific event. It's one of the best events that we have in Ocean Township. I think every day, everybody will agree with me. And we had an opportunity at that time to honor some people uh, that I see in the audience uh, this evening. So I want to say to Donna, good job. Uh, also, uh, as an officer with the Community Hope Fund and speaking for our executive board, I wish to thank the Greater Ocean Township Chamber of Commerce for the excellent event it sponsored last week at the English Manor. A portion of the proceeds was dedicated to the Community Hope Fund and we're most appreciative. We also want to salute the outgoing executive director, Kim Blanda, who orchestrated that event. We wish her well in her new field of endeavor. The Community Hope Fund, sometimes called CHF, is currently soliciting applications for its youth development grant program. You should look for details if you represent a group that you think uh, would like to make an application for one of our grants. You should look for details in the coaster and in the May issue of the Today paper, or you can contact Human Services right on Deal Road. That's all I have, Mayor. Good. Thanks, Rich. Rob? Uh, one thing, the um, Township newsletter, the spring-summer version, um, is uh, getting ready to go to print. As part of that uh, newsletter, there will be a survey uh, asking the residents of Ocean Township their thoughts on the deer population. Um, there are a lot of people that are very passionate both on both sides of the issue and uh, we'd like to get your thoughts on that. It's a short 15 question survey. Uh, you can answer it as part of the newsletter. You can go online and answer it uh, and you could drop it if you're doing it um, 
hard copy, you could drop it off or mail it to us. And again, there is a uh, don't be one online as well. So we'd really like you and appreciate your feedback. Um, the council uh, hasn't made any decisions as to what direction we want to go. We want to understand what your thoughts are, take that into consideration, and then uh, come up with a plan. So appreciate your feedback on that. Thanks, Rob. Have, Great. Mike, you have anything for us tonight? I have nothing this evening. Marty? <coughs> well, I'll just join with Rich and uh, congratulate Kim. I've been involved in the chamber uh, since it started and actually was the attorney who changed it from the Ocean Township Business and Professional Association to the chamber and Kim was there right from the very beginning and has been executive director for a long time and I wish her well in her new endeavor. Great. Thank you. And I too wish Kim well. She's a pleasure to work with, a real maverick. Anybody knows Kim, if you wanted a job done, Kim would do it. Also one last thing, Ocean Township Class of 2018 post-prom fundraiser Friday. It's April 13th, 4 to 7 p.m. Uh, at Otto's Bar. <coughs> and we're going to include soft drinks, coffee, Caesar salad, penne vodka, pizza, cash bar. That was canceled. That was canceled already? Yeah, yeah I got it for they, tonight. They don't have enough. Uh, according to Facebook this okay. morning, it was canceled because they don't have enough participation. But there are going to be people meeting there. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I read on Facebook. So now okay. we'll go to Otto's. So now, that. before we start with our budget presentation, we have one little piece of business. We're going to come down from the dais. Turn the mic on. Give it a second, Steve. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for the microphone. I'm going to ask that the uh, Edelsons come on up for a moment. You, you've seen one of these before, right, Paul? Yes. Oh. Margie saw one of these. Anybody was here for the St. Patty's Day? Raise your hand. You guys all... Oh, you're all familiar with what these are, huh? Did we ever get your sign back, by the way? Uh, no, I sold it. <laughs> it's on eBay right now. It's on Let Go. Anyway. But anyway, th they were bestowed a great honor, the Edelson, some well-deserved, richly deserved because of their time, the dedication to the community, the historical museum, and just all around great people. So we had honored them with a street sign over there. It's going to go on the corner of Deal Road and uh, at the entrance of the library into the historical museum area. But we also have another special uh, people. I told you there's many, many special people in this town that we want to recognize that have been really volunteering for many years. And it's a lot of them are from the historical museum, so we're going to get to a lot of folks this year. But tonight we have a very special couple, and I'm going to ask them to come up at this time. Doc and Jenny Richmond, can you come on up here for a moment? And while Doc and Ginny come on up, uh, Paul's going to give us a little background on some of the contributions that Doc and Ginny have contributed to the town for many years. I know including longtime member of the first day, right? You just steal my... Well, I would like to say that uh, Ginny and Doc, I've known them for a number of years. Matter of fact, I've known Doc since uh, Boy Scout days many, many years ago. But uh, there's a lot to know about this couple. Doc himself was a member of the First Aid Squad for over 45 years. He was out there in the middle of the night uh, serving the, the community. But they have been very well uh, represented at the museum. Uh, Jenny was the president of the museum for 10 years. And it was during the time that uh, we got the Woolly House, we had it moved and uh, had spent a lot of time uh, getting it restored and spent a lot of money, got a lot of grants and everything, and they were instrumental in that. Doc was in charge of the uh, construction. And when you think about it, this was a, a massive uh, job. The house was a wreck when we got it. It was sitting out in front of the new library, and it, and it, lo it looked terrible. And we had to get, get it going. We had to raise funds. Thanks to Joe Palaya, he got us a, a really great, two big grants. But Doc was in charge of it, and he became a construction superintendent. And I was his assistant. And he had everything organized. He put out bids. He brought people in. He fired a couple of people. Uh, uh, it, it was interesting. We had a contractor in there. and uh, Actually, he had done work for the town, and, and we decided he wasn't very good, so Doc fired him. And... And we moved on, but we got the thing done in about three and a half years uh, after uh, a lot of work, but he put in all the work. I would say that for about two years, there, there probably wasn't a day that he wasn't at the museum doing that. And of course, they've been very involved uh, as we've uh, grown in the museum, which is 
uh, come this, actually in, in December, we will have 10 years that we've been open. And, and our opening was actually in the spring of 2009, but we did open at the holiday season. But these two are the ones that have done that. They're, they're very involved in the community, they're involved with the church, they're involved uh, with the museum, and many, many other things. So they're a fantastic couple, and a, a credit to Ocean Township. Well said. Thank you so much for that, Paul. That was, and that's all true. All those embarrassing words that Paul said about you is true. I remember, Doc, when we were working on that project, you were paying the neck, boy. You were a stickler for detail. <laughs> you really was. But it got done. But hey, we needed somebody like that, right, Jenny? Right? You needed somebody, the sergeant. But we could have done, could not have done it without the total support of all the mayors that we met, met with and worked with, and the. Um, Town managers, uh, we said that he was haunting Dave Cockle's uh, office because he learned what time Dave got there, yeah. and he was there to greet him and help him into his room and ask <laughs> whatever the question of the day was. Like, he, like, what did he know about hiring contractors and firing them? What did I know? I, I knew nothing. He knew a little bit, maybe, <laughs> but we learned. And we couldn't have done it without the mayors, the councils, and all of the people over here who were so supportive, and we thank you very much. Well, it was our pleasure, because it's the jewel of the town. It really is. Anybody's seen it. It's come out spectacular. And the events that you have, the monthlies, are just, they're, they're terrific, really. Everything from the soldiers and right on through to the high school thing that you did, everything. Just, they're really wonderful. So, without any ado, we thought we'd honor you with something. If uh, you want to pull that off for me. We decided that we needed Richmond's Corner to be put up there right at the corner of where the museum is and the entrance of the library as well. So when you come in on Edelson Lane, right in front of the library is going to be Richmond's Corner. And I think that's something that we should really commemorate you guys and, and remember you for all your contributions to the town and to the museum. So we want to thank you for that. You're going to have your own street sign put up. You can hold that. For <laughs> Doc, oh, Doc. Be before you heard Jenny, do you have anything you'd like to add? Not a thing. <laughs> you mean Paul and Jenny did it? First time. They set it up. What a smart guy. See, we knew there was something about him that was special. This is a complete surprise. And I think that... I am in shock. I think that what you did at the St. Patrick's Day event for Paul and Marge was fantastic. So this... It's got me totally stunned. <laughs> that was the idea. We said, make sure Kenny comes too tonight. Maybe that was your giveaway, right? <laughs> Kenny finally got in the car with you. <laughs> so what's up, Kenny? Why are we going to town hall? But he did. He was a good trooper over there. But uh, listen, well-deserved for all your efforts. The museum, like Paul said, it, it wouldn't look the way it did without your input and your being there all the time and being a stickler. So we're honored that to be able to do this for you. Please enjoy. We will have a uh, official ceremony where we will install these signs. So eventually, we got to get it back from all you guys and actually put them up. So don't lose them. Don't put it on eBay. Don't go anywhere with it. <laughs> enjoy it for now. Take good care of it. But that's it. Anybody else from the museum want to come up and get a picture taken for the press? Eh? Okay. And let's gather in here. We'll get a little tight. I think Don wants to get a nice shot. Let's step on anything here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea, Don. You should be at the Stone Tony anyway. Later, Prince. Later. Oh, one more pegs. <laughs> Hold your sign up. Oh, you got it right, Doc. You got it. That's how it's going to be installed. <laughs> Good. Great. All right. Thank you guys again. Well deserved. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Oh, you put it in the kitchen. Okay. Put that one there with it. Yeah. We'll, maybe when we have your next one of your socials or something, we can do it then. Oh, we could do it in June when we get the new Yeah, give me a two week heads up so I have Tommy Crochet prepared. Okay. Okay, we'll take a two-minute recess and give all you folks a good opportunity to go home and uh, watch Drunken History. It's one of my favorites, actually. 
It's pretty good, right? No, take it with you and I'll bring it to you. This doesn't mean anything now, but if they I have a speech to finish. Sorry, Ken, thanks for uh, uh, thanks for bringing them over. Hurry up. 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 We're going to go some a oh, different oh, direction. Oh, you're not kidding, brother. Oh, yeah. But Martin and I finished the first one. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. 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 I went to Don Stein's mother's party down at the uh, Wonder Bar. Yeah. Yeah. I was at a funeral. No, no. Next, we're going to do, depends on what time it is. For the festival, I think the festival. I've been at four times in my life, and each time it's trouble. Oh, Billy Fitzgerald. Thank you, guys. I think she was 100 or 100. Oh. Am I right? I think she was 100 or This guy, Marie Curtis, you know what I mean? The guy that was actually the best friend of the world of people that in the wrong Yeah, I don't know. I'm just. Yeah. No, they're in there. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the ones I just mentioned. Oh, Marie Curtis, yeah. she started the uh, drug alarm. Sure. Her oh, husband died in 1974. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And they've been very involved. How are you going? Wrong word. Box or something like that. You can't do what? Four foot eleven or nine. Steve, you got the mic? Yeah. Okay, our meeting of April 12th. We're back in session. Uh, so first order of business here, we have a ordinance 2304 for adoption. Somebody please open a public hearing on ordinance 2304. John's not here. Donna, could I'll you open? I'll open the meeting on ordinance 2304. Second. 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 <laughs> Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Jepica. Yes. And Mayor Sustain. Yes. Uh, somebody please, uh, anybody wishing to be heard on Ordinance 2304, please step up to the microphone that Steve has. State your name and address for the record. Seeing or hearing no one. <coughs> uh, the close ordinance. The, the public hearing. hearing. Don't close it yet. Just close the public the hearing. Public hearing. Yeah. Second. I'll second it. Deputy Mayor Achera. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Sheppica, uh, Napolitani. Yes. Sheppica. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Action, please, on Ordinance 2304. I move to adopt Ordinance 2304. And publish according to law. And publish according to law. Awesome. Second. I'll second it. Deputy Mayor Achera. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Sheppica. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. So tonight I'm going to turn it over now to our finance officer, Steve Gallagher, for a budget presentation. Another great budget presented by your mayor, council, and a lot of work by Steve and uh, all the department heads. We want to thank everybody that had a lot of input on this. They all worked very hard to hold the line on it, and we're very thankful for that because when they do the great job and sharpening their pencils, we look good, and we appreciate that. So Meredith, Steve, and Kimber's not here. Thank her, too. And then uh, Switzer. And our auditor is here. Yeah. We thank our auditor. Yeah, he'll get to look at it later. He already did. He already looked at it. Ten times. <laughs> Thanks, John. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, first off, I want to acknowledge the uh, department heads who really... No, no, I got it. You're good? Yeah, I'm good. I want to acknowledge the department heads who uh, really were instrumental in pulling this thing together and the uh, invaluable time of the Mayor and Council uh, for helping us craft the final product. Okay. Now, most of you have seen the presentation before, so I will try and limit it to two hours tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smoke. 
So this is our budget 2018 budget objectives, okay? Um, objective number one is a stable taxation. <laughs> uh, maintain township quality of life. Uh, balancing personnel needs, right-sizing the workforce, and you can see the background picture is doing that. <laughs> uh, manage employee benefit costs, uh, stabilize health insurance costs, and uh, using lower cost plans and high deductible plans as tools to bring that about. <coughs> uh, more shared services, and more reliance on technology and continued investment in the infrastructure, um, you know, continuing to uh, try and improve the roads and the parks and the facilities. But we're not really chopping heads like that, though. That's just for background noise. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to clear that up. No real people were hurt in the uh, making of this <laughs> Thank presentation. You. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Okay, uh, maintain p uh, quality of life. Um, you know, one of the big things that we've done was to uh, purchase the back portion of Poplar Brook, the uh, senior sen uh, uh, senior community back there. Um, a lot of people know that every time we got a flood, you know, we'd have to evacuate that portion. So we uh, worked with FEMA, purchased the uh, back portion of that, and have returned that into open space. Okay. Um, Brookside Avenue uh, Blue Acres program that's essentially the kind of same kind of a thing uh, that's an area by the Poplar Brook and uh, a lot of residents were getting flooded out there uh, many times and so we've worked with the state of New Jersey to have them purchase those properties and uh, return those back to open space as well okay and we've been very uh, interested in trying to advance the active alternative transit network. Uh, we've done bicycle lanes. Uh, we're trying to uh, have sidewalks um, more prevalent on our main streets so that people can walk or ride their bikes rather than take a car. Tree replacement program, uh, that's al always an ongoing thing where, you know, if we have to take down trees during our, uh, our uh, road programs that we're able to replace them. The band shell at Joe Palaya Park. Believe it or not, I believe we have our first wedding scheduled for that facility in September. Okay. Trying to get married again? <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't marry him again. There you go. Uh, we have uh, a variety of improvements to the uh, West Park Avenue pool and tennis facility. We've got uh, the um, uh, new activity pool will be ready for this summer. Yep. Um, we have uh, new shade structures that are going in there as well. We have the uh, new tennis facility, that'll be the indoor facility, uh, and we're also uh, going to be putting in um, uh, tennis uh, facilities outside right. of that as well. Um, and we now have three affordable senior housing complexes open in Ocean Township. And, of course, the Township Newsletter, which was abandoned for some years, uh, which Mayor Siciliano had brought back, and uh, we continue to, to uh, send that out and make improvements to communicate with our Township residents. Okay, managing employee benefit costs. Now that it says at the bottom, it says, why would our employees want something as intangible as a health plan when they can have this cute first aid kit? <laughs> I like that. I think that cartoon is great, but... Uh, Steve you know. actually tried that. They didn't buy it. They wouldn't. I don't know why. <laughs> but, uh, you know, some of the things we've done to manage uh, employee benefit costs uh, is that we eliminated uh, the family and member's spouse coverage for new hires, for clerical technical uh, employees and public work unions. Um, we've lowered the base level of health insurance coverage uh, with all of our unions and non-union employees. Uh, the current base for everyone except public works is uh, New Jersey 2030 uh, and uh, New Jersey 2035 is the base for local 701 and 177 the public works unions. Uh, all employees are at the max for chapter 78 contributions and the township has gone a, st a step further in that we have that base level of coverage and anybody can pick what they want um, but they have to pay the difference between the base coverage and the premium for the insurance that they select, in addition to their Chapter 78 contributions. Uh, that's the stick. Um, 
we revised the uh, uh, salary step progression for the PBA, no cost of living for uh, the new hires until they reach the top step. Uh, we eliminated uh, fixed and longevity pay for new hires. Um, we've reduced vacation and sick leave allowances to the public works unions and cap sick time leave uh, payouts at retirement. Shared services, I'm just gonna blow through these pretty quick. Um, but we have the recycling center, um, the 911 services with Eaton Town, uh, TOSA shared services, which we've expanded quite a bit over the past couple of years. Uh, court, we do with Long Branch, West Long Branch. Uh, vehicle maintenance, we have a supplemental with uh, Seaco Chevrolet. Um, New, New Jersey SEM, we do uh, uh, work with uh, about uh, 200 municipalities in bidding electric and natural gas prices. Animal control service with the uh, SPCA. Uh, health department services with the Monmouth County Regional Health Commission. Uh, senior transportation, we use Monmouth County for that. Uh, li liability insurance is through the New Jersey Municipal and in Joint Insurance Fund. Um, delinquent court fines, we use the state of New Jersey. Now this is uh, a nice slide representation of uh, the impact of uh, New Jersey SEM on our, on our uh, cost for uh, gas and electric. Um, the first one is the electric and you can see back in 2009 before we had joined the SEM, um, that uh, we were paying a significant amount for uh, our electric and that's come down quite a bit. The same thing with our street lighting costs and our natural gas costs. So the, the impact of uh, bidding that out with the uh, coordinated efforts of 200 other municipalities really pays off. <coughs> Technology <coughs> utilization. Again, you know, a lot of things that um, we do here are, are technology driven. Um, you know, uh, for example, in the tax office, we've, uh, we use Edmunds uh, online uh, whip, uh, to actually help collect taxes and provide information to the township residents about their taxes. They don't have to call, they can actually go on the website and do all of that stuff. In addition, um, last year Edmunds made an improvement to their whip where you can now do tax and sewer billing. <coughs> we also use a company called Pay Argo, which is an aggregation service. And what they do is, is they take all these online bank checks uh, and they create an ACH batch for us to download and import right into our admin system, which is a real time saver. Um, some of the things here we use, you know, vehicle maintenance inventory, um, our uh, employee time management software. Uh, we expanded the online registrations for COs and uh, all of our other online programs for recreation and human services. Um, again, the tax and sewer billing. Um, we replaced the HVAC controls uh, some years ago to help uh, uh, township facilities be more energy efficient. Um, uh, we do the online delinquent tax sale auction, which is a great thing. Uh, it's improved um, the participation in uh, our tax sales and has generated for the most part almost entirely um, sales with premiums. And the reason that's important, and I think I was talking to you guys about that a little earlier, was that um, the premiums give the residents a break because they're not paying interest on the tax sale certificate amount and it's only the subsequent. So it really is kind of a benefit for the delinquent homeowner. Uh, and then we re redesigned the website. We're always looking at ways to improve it, and I know Mike has been involved in, in uh, that as well. <coughs> Continued investment in infrastructure. Um, in the last year, we really did a lot as far as road programs. Some of it was intended, <coughs> some of it was not. But th at the end of the day, we're addressing it all. Um, you know, prior and current year road programs are in effect 2017. I think we're wrapping 2016. Uh, we're working on 2017, and we'll be preparing for 2018. 
Hope Green Grove Road is the one we're going to be doing hopefully this year. Um, we also have the Sunset Avenue Phase 7, which I believe they should be just about finished with. Um, Alaire Road, same thing. Um, and then we have various secondary road improvements. Um, and then winter damage to the roads. You, know, you, you can tell, uh, you know, you go up 35 and it's like a war zone. <coughs> Um, you know, that's a lot of it's from the winter, and we try to address that locally. Um, new activity pool at West Park Avenue. It's going to be a great, it's, it's going to be a beautiful facility um, with the shade structures and, and the new activity pool. It's going to be beautiful. Um, Banshell Joe Playa Park, like I said, we got our first wedding scheduled. People seem to be enjoying that. Police Department equipment and facilities, you know, they you know, always need new technology and uh, things uh, down in the police department as, you know, crime f fighting becomes more technologically driven. Um, and, uh, you know, we have our replacement program with Public <coughs> Works. And this is just a little, uh, you know, snapshot of the budgets over the past couple of years. This year's budget is about $150,000 lower than last year's. Um, if you notice, uh, the third line down under revenues is amount to be raised by taxes. That number is the same from last year to this year. We did not increase the amount we needed to raise for taxation at all. Okay, here's some of the big uh, budget movers, okay? Um, you know, we have salary wages. Uh, basically, we have an increase of about 1.68% from last year to this year, or about 251,000. Um, employer pension contributions, up by about 152,000. We have no control over that particular number. That's a number that is determined actuarially by the uh, Division of Pensions and Benefits, and we get the pleasure of paying it. Um, that includes both the police as well as the um, public employees' retirement systems. The assessors, uh, that one is up by $63,000, and that represents a new item of uh, expenditure for uh, the <coughs> inspections for the uh, Monmouth County uh, Assessment Demonstration Program. Um, the assessor will be using inspection services um, to aid him in keeping our properties assessed at 100%. Capital improvement money, these are the downers. Uh, Capital improvement went down by $680,000 uh, from last year to this year, and the major reason was because we were going to be funding the band shell initially through the budget. Uh, however, we were able to then go th and fund it through the um, capital instead and didn't need to use this money, so we've reduced that line item this year. Debt service is down $112,000, and that's due to the final payment of the tax appeal refunding note that we did back in 2014. Um, buildings ground, that's down. We reduced the amount uh, for the Beecroft uh, Ocean Glades uh, remediation. Uh, that uh, didn't pan out um, to be as expensive as we thought. <coughs> Uh, levy uh, tax cap bank status. Now, this is one of my favorite slides because, you know, the governing body has been very judicious about <coughs> maintaining their budget under the levy ba uh, cap, okay? And so for 2018, we are uh, $60,184 below the property tax levy cap of 2%, okay? Um, that means that we left $60,000 on the table that we could have taxed for, which we didn't. <coughs> Since the inception of the 2% property uh, tax levy cap uh, in 2011, the accumulated balances of uh, uh, the allowable tax increases that we didn't take is three million six hundred twelve, almost $613,000. That's, that's quite a number, almost uh, $4 million there that we did not uh, tax the township residents for. 
that number essentially turns out to be about $350 to the average homeowner. This is the Monmouth County Demonstration Program. The pilot program has saved about uh, $1.5 in uncollected taxes and about a uh, million dollars in school and fire district taxes that the town has to pay that we don't get back. And for this year, um, we were saving $89,000 in uncollected taxes with $58,700 going to the schools and the fire districts. In 2018, there were 197 appeals filed, and we had 111 that were successfully reduced. And the total assessment reductions were $4,296,000, about $4.3 million altogether. Now, it used to be that I'd be worried about that number, that was money that I was going to have to dish out to taxpayers, or I was going to have to credit their third and or fourth quarter taxes for. I don't have to do that now because the demonstration program allows these adjustments to be made prior to tax bill generation, which means that all the adjustments are taken care of prior to the bills being sent out. It's a good thing for the township residents. It's a good thing for us. It's a good thing for the cash flow. Mm -hmm. Budget pressures, yeah. This is, um, uh, earlier I was talking about uh, the health insurance costs. The uh, red represents the uh, health insurance. The blue represents liability insurance. Um, you can see how that number has had been going up since uh, oh, the late 90s. I mean, it, in some years it was in double digits, the increases. Um, back in 2000 and... 7, 2008, we instituted um, a, a program where employees um, have to uh, contribute a portion of the premium. You know, uh, basically it was our version of Chapter 78. Uh, at that time, we established a base plan for coverage. Um, and uh, we instituted where people could pick anything they wanted, but if they picked more than the highest plan or the base plan, then they'd have to pay the difference in the premiums. And that thing has worked out really well. That was the stick. But the carrot has been our incentive program. Uh, what we did was um, uh, the state in 2011, after they did Chapter 78, uh, made a variety of uh, of health insurance plans available <coughs> in different coverages, one of them being a high deductible um, plan. So what we did was we incentivized people to take the high deductible plan as opposed to a regular insurance. It takes a little bit of a leap of faith, but I've taken the plan myself. I've been in it for three years now, and I got to tell you, I like the plan a lot. Um, it's not for the weak of heart. I mean, you have to manage it and you have to be able to, you know, realize you're going to pay it out. Um, but e there's uh, an HSA component to this and, uh, um, you know, you're allowed to carry that over year after year. So that has been real helpful. And the state of New Jersey last year has also incentivized the Omnia plan, which is the tiered network plan. Um, both of those are low-cost plans to the town, so they've helped us to bring that number a little bit down. Not only that, but we also offer a health waiver, and uh, a lot of people have taken that option. They'll go and get onto their wife's health insurance, um, and if they're within state health benefits, they don't get to take advantage of that waiver plan. But the thing is, is that it'll get them off of our plan. Um, and that's helped out too. And this is the Chapter 78 contributions. We have a contribution by the employee for both health and dental. Okay, and you can see we bring in right now about $470,000 in Chapter 78 contributions in health and $70,000 for dental. Uh, you know, that's over a tax point. 
that's real savings there for the taxpayer. Um, and in, not only that, it encourages the employees to make, you know, smart choices about the kind of coverage they're they're taking. Pension costs. Uh, this is the uh, numbers that pensions bills us for. You can see this is uh, the PFRS component, and you can see the the spot those three years in the uh, or, uh, late 19, I think in 1990s, <coughs> that uh, we had that pension holiday. Um, and this is the PERS layered on top of it. Um, we've had to, you know, make our contributions uh, back, you know, in the Whitman administration. Um, they gave us this pension holiday and said, oh, you don't have to make any more payments because the pension was fully funded, you know. As market conditions in the economy deteriorated, uh, those um, pensions uh, did not fare very well, so they became somewhat underfunded. Now they seem to be coming back, um, but it's a significant cost. I mean, we're about $2.5 million of our budget is for pension costs. Employer contributions per employee. And you can see here <laughs> that uh, for the uh, PFRS per employee, the uh, town pays about $28,000. And for uh, the PERS members, it's about $8,000. And this is solid waste costs. Um, we were at a high in, I would say, uh, 2008, 2009, when we were still doing businesses. We got out of that business. That helped us reduce the amount of trash that we sent to the uh, landfill. Um, and then we did the automated uh, robotic pickup and put recycling on with that. And we've encouraged recycling. And that's helped us to stabilize that cost quite a bit. Now for 2018, we got a love letter from the county basically saying that we're going to pay an extra $5 per ton for tipping fees. Um, so that's going to be a, a significant strain for 2018. And here's just a graphic here. It shows the amount of solid waste that we've sent to the landfill, the amount of recycling we've sent to the recycling centers. We have a diversion rate of about 30, almost 31% which is pretty consistent with our prior years uh, over the past, I would say, eight, nine years. And um, every ton that goes into recycling, even if we don't get any revenue from it, represents $85 that we're not paying for its disposal. Okay, And uh, for 2000, like I said, for 2018, we're going to be paying $85.10 for each ton going to the landfill. So make sure you recycle your bottles and cans and stuff. Now this is another one that I like. Um, I, I do this for the mayor um, because it shows um, what the actual savings for our um, program for the automated trash pickup has been. Uh, and this is just salary and wages. It doesn't include benefits or anything like that. But in 2010, before we instituted the program, we had 22 trash collectors. Okay? As of this year, we have 11. We've basically reduced that force in half. We didn't do it through firings or anything like that. It was just pure attrition, people leaving, people retiring. Um, and... Uh, the second column there, the project projected salary and wage savings, those is what, that's what we had projected we were going to save when we did the um, analysis for going to the program. And the actual savings are in the green box there. And you can see, like for this year, we anticipated saving about $440,000. We're saving $650,000. And that's just on the salary and wages. If we had the other 11 guys in there, we'd have 11 health benefits to pay for and 11 uh, in, you know, people increasing the liability insurance and pension costs. 
So it, it, it's been quite a winner as far as that goes. Uh, and timely too, because uh, right about that time is when we've lost a lot of state aid, interest, mm -hmm. um, income was pretty, uh, uh, pretty low at that point. So these savings offset having to raise taxes to support that. And now my favorite time. You look good there, Steve. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the revenue section. I love revenue. Give me that money. Now, this is uh, state aid, and that's the governor handing out state aid to the municipalities right there. Oh, there you go. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you can see that um, state aid had been cut uh, from 2007, 8, 9, and then remained flat there on uh, to today. So we're not getting any increase in state aid from, you know, the state of New Jersey. This is uh, interest income, and you can see that, you know, Back in 2007, we had um, you know, a little over a million dollars we were collecting in interest. Uh, last year was a good year for us. We collected $178,000 uh, in interest. Um, the year before that, it was about $89,000. And that's on our roughly $30 million worth of money that we have in the bank at any one time for all of our funds. And this is a uh, uniform construction code fees. Now, if you're looking at 2017 versus 2018, we, we don't budget the full amount that we received the prior year for that. First off, because it's an unstable source of revenue. Um, we had some things going on in 2016 and 17 where we actually saw some nice increases in that line, such as Toll Brothers and uh, the uh, Bound Road project. Um, but those aren't going to last forever, and we may have some more this year, um, but most likely it's going to taper off. We, we collected about uh, 900000 last year. Uh, we probably won't collect that much this year. Um, but you can see the history over time, and it goes up and down. Um, and, uh, you know, we try to budget around the $450,000 mark. And I like this slide, but I don't know how long I can keep this one going, to tell you the truth. Uh, this shows our interest income history. <laughs> and I just like it for this. There we go. But uh, you can see the, uh, and there's the guy. He got off safe. Okay. Uh, but you can see that, you know, there have been a couple of periods of time where the interest rates swung out, and we were receiving well over a million dollars in, in interest income, which, you know, every dollar we earn, that way uh, is, you know, money that we don't have to raise through taxation. Uh, and you can see now in the uh, late uh, 2010 to current, we just haven't been getting that much. Like I said, this year we've gotten a little bit of a boost, and hopefully that trend will help, you know, continue. And then this is just to kind of show you the effect of the lack of state aid. Um, the yellow represents state aid. The green is surplus. Okay, so surplus as a a balance uh, a, a component of our revenues has gone up, uh, while state aid has trended downward. And this is debt service. Okay, and um, the bars represent our <coughs> historical. Um, debt service. Uh, we started uh, maybe 11 or 12 years ago. We were down around the uh, you know 2.5, 2.8 million dollar range, and now we're at about 3 million, a uh, little bit over that. Uh, I anticipate that we'll probably stay within that range, about 3 million to 3 million, 3.5 million dollars over the next uh, uh, few years. Um, you know we. 
do a pretty good job at managing our debt here. Uh, our um, debt ratio is, is very low. I think it's about 0.74 this year, uh, which, is, which is very good. Uh, the state allows you to have 3.5% um, debt ratio. Uh, we're well under that. And then this is another one too, because people, people forget that we collect taxes for everybody. Okay, we collect the municipal, we collect the school, we collect the county, and we also collect the fire districts. Okay, so um, as you can see, the uh, green is the municipal taxes. That represents about 22% of your overall tax bill. The school's at 65%, and the county is at 14. Um, this is just a, a good representation to let you know that, you know, we are probably one of the lowest components of the taxes that you pay. And that's it. That's it? <laughs> Fantastic. You all survived. <laughs> so, good to see. So, the big highlight there was our uh, levy this year was static, same as last year, so there'll be no tax increase on a municipal level. Perfect. And we had a slight, uh, I think our, our um, rate went down slightly as well due to our valuation going up. So we kind of adjusted that down. So we're at about 42.7, right? 42.7. cents seven. Okay. Okay. Great. Any questions, anybody? No? Okay. Right now we have a B1 resolution to authorize the 2018 municipal budget to be read by title. Someone please offer. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepica. Yes. And Mayor Sosiano. Yes. Yeah, so we have a public hearing on the, the 2018 municipal budget. Anybody wishing to be heard? Motion to open. Oh, somebody please open a public hearing. Sorry. And a motion to uh, open the public hearing. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepica. Yes. And Mayor Sosiano. Yes. So anybody wishing to be heard on the municipal budget, please step up to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. Seeing or hearing no one, please close the uh, public hearing on the municipal budget. Make a motion to close the public hearing on the municipal budget. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepica. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Before we do an adoption, Vinny's going to read something in for us. Okay. Pre resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Township of Ocean County and Monmouth that the budget sets forth is hereby adopted and shall constitute an appropriation for the purposes of the sums set forth. <coughs> Total revenues 36 million one hundred ninety four thousand six hundred seventy dollars and seventy five cents total appropriations thirty six million one hundred ninety four thousand six hundred seventy dollars and seventy five cents it is hereby certified that the budget is a true copy of the budget finally adopted by resolution by the governing body on the 12th day of april 2018 it's further certified that each item of revenue and appropriation is set forth in the same amount and by the same title as appeared in the 2018 approved budget Great. So, action on the 2018 budget. Uh, I'll move to approve the uh, 2018 municipal budget. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepica. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes, budget's approved. Thank you, guys. And thanks, Steve, Meredith, for working so hard on that. Mike and uh, all department heads, thank you guys very much. Thank you. John, thanks for coming and listening. Thank you, John. And reviewing. <laughs> you did great. That's our auditor. Doesn't get better than that, great. does it? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. We're going to go into our regular portion of the meeting now. <coughs> All right. The purpose of the public portion is to solely ask questions to understand resolutions and vouchers that appear on this agenda and not an occasion for a public hearing on an ordinance. All questions not related to an item on this agenda should be asked during the public comments portion at the conclusion of the meeting. Uh, tonight we have our Minutes and resolutions. Anybody wish to be heard on the resolutions, please step up to the microphone, state your name and address. Or vouchers as well. Sure, come on up. Good time to ask voucher questions. We have the we have the real answer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have the we check have writer the here. Right here, answers. I uh, know. Right here. We have the, the check writer here. The box stops right here. here. Meredith's not used to it. Here, this. Steve, I'm going to hand this to you. You may need this. You what? I'm sorry. She was in Hazlitt. She said. <laughs> Start with item number seven. Uh, 
Um, how many um, uniforms or shirts or whatever did we buy for $578.10? 11. Ooh, he was on it. Ooh, Mike. You got to see his cheat sheet. He here. was waiting for He's you to ask that one. If you went to number six, you would have thrown him off. Seven was perfect question. We we got the civil uniforms for him. We're gonna give them back to him from the Civil War, the, the old wool. That works too. Right. Make him uncomfortable. Well, actually, uh, I was gonna ask about number eight, uh, the emergency blankets. How many did we get there? One hundred. Ooh, mm. another one for Mike. Two for two. Oh, <laughs> Stop him. And did someone? I know my own question, but did someone tell the folks? I'm trying. Okay. It's actually in the newsletter. There's actually an article about that. What, what to put down there? Yeah. Um, can someone help me understand why the big difference between February and March for heating and air? Uh, the difference was in repairs that had to be done. Okay. That makes sense. And on number 14, what was a tri state camp? conference for and who went and all that good stuff. It was for Aaron Miller, who's one of our uh, counselors, yeah, up at Recreation. Okay. And it, it was just a, a recreation conference, different programs to run. Okay. Um, how locally or in Timbuktu or? Uh, it was in New Jersey. I just don't remember where. Okay. The Timbuktu section. Okay. Um, Ocean and yeah. on 19, I used to have that. On all, and it's further on down. On all the various hazardous trees, were they on public property, private property? Both. Both? Yeah. Does the all over. bear any responsibility? No, because they were trees that we were responsible for. Uh-huh. Okay. And moving right along, well, that takes care of. Uh, 31 and 32 also? Parker, yeah. And then um, I'm taking we spent $631 and six cents uh, for car number 32. Yeah, the, the front adult. the front fascia had yeah. to be replaced. Yeah, okay. And then actually this is not about, about the amount. I know who it's for. Is the uh, Golf course breaking even yet, you know? No. no. But if you lump it in, it doesn't jail for recreation, it's still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still with the pool and everything, it's a winner. Yeah. Okay. And um, number 40, Hombre Press, blah, 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 Street Survey Seminar. Um, who went, or how many went, and where was it? It was two officers, officers Polanco and Woodley. Um, it was in New Jersey. Okay. And, um, okay. <coughs> and we, <coughs> 45, we, looks like we purchased a Hewlett Packard, something, I don't know, almost 5,600 bucks. A Packard. It's a server, a server that runs our computers okay. in the building. Okay. Really big server, I guess. Yeah. 6,000 bucks. And, and um, I didn't realize we had uh, an aquarium. Barracuda. Yeah, Barracuda. Oh, yeah. Um, three years updates, is that by three years worth of updates or over the course of three years I'll update it or what? Over the course, and that's our firewall to protect us from getting hacked. Uh-huh. Oh, it's a good firewall. And uh, 50 and 51, there's a CPR workshop registration and then the first aid workshop so how many were registered and did they all attend yeah it was uh just it was for the people up uh in uh, recreation right. and human services and it was for the entire group okay and was it what locally mm -hmm. okay. and what the heck <laughs> is on 52 gis services for that is the um, the mapping and overlaying of the town um, with the uh, 
it, it, it's like the system that we use for for construction, code enforcement, police. Okay. Yeah. That, that's Some type of camera for $552, and then a Windows Server uh, 2016 software. Anyway, this is 2018, not 2016, but anyway, um, can you tell me a little bit more about those? Sure. the uh, The camera is for Town Hall. The uh, this software that's just what Microsoft has that we run. Okay. The you know, system off of. Okay, so that's integrated in all the computers? Police. Hmm? Police. Uh, all, but all their computers, which I'm guessing is more than one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I know it's not the there, uh, this is maybe really, really picky. <laughs> um, direct energy, um, gas, sustainable energy. No months are indicated, and there's like a between the first one and the next two. There's a pretty wide swing. It's this past winter. Um, we have to buy a certain amount of our gas, and it comes from sustainable energy, uh -huh. and that's what these are. Okay. And on um, number sixty-eight, outside <coughs> green. <coughs> God bless you. Um, Six by eight by sixteen guardrail repair. It was a piece of guardrail that got busted up in an accident, and that's just the vendor we bought it from. Okay, where was it busted up at? You know? I can't tell you off the top of my head. Yeah. We know we know how big it you was. Studied this thing. I uh, you know I tried. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Anyway, and then um, eight emergency fire alarm repair. Where? It was in the police department. We had a fault in the ductwork that had to be fixed. Okay. Okay. And am I correct? This is my guess. From Glock, Glock Incorporated, you are at an armorer's course, and there's two numbers there, so I'm guessing that's the badge number. So it's 250 bucks per armor. Correct. Okay. And. Um, just keep a hint, now we can save a little bit. On um, janitorial supplies, we should print up something that says BYTP. You have toilet paper. paper. <coughs> no? Well, you might want to when you have to use it's that. It's an word. idea whose time has not come. Okay. <laughs> and um, I realize this is pretty generic. Uh, Boston products, number one, two, three. Restock hardware township vehicles. You know, uh, is that like lug wrenches or is that? Which one are you at? What number is it? 123. Oh, it was truck parts. Oh, truck parts, okay. okay. And uh, on 126, Liberty Lines seal coating, do I take it that's talking about a letter was sealed is now cracked? No, that was the fixed cracks. Now it's coated. Now it's coated. Yes, it's right. Northwoods. And then we've got Menace One Generator Shop. Alternators, top kick, truck, blah, blah. Uh, was that more than one? No, it was just one. Okay. And let's see. Okay, Aaron Miller. Conference expenses for you know the conference. Um, it was um, one of the recreation conferences oh. he goes to. I'm sorry, I, I'm bad. I'm bad. Uh, however, I, I could really solve this one. One fifth MRC Incorporated zero G chair swings, almost ninety five hundred bucks. Yeah. I mean, just put them in orbit. <laughs> Yeah. Was that wheelchairs or swings for them? There are, yes, yeah, some of them are uh, handicap accessible chairs. Okay. For the okay. parks. Mm -hmm. right. And um, now I certainly do hope that they all, but on 154, 
New Jersey criminal interdiction, LLC, street smart cop training. Do you know how many we sent? Two officers, Officer Clune and Angelo. Okay. Uh, if I ever read them, I'll make sure I got my money for He's just trying to show you how much he's looked into this. I see. And then um, 158, leadership program middle management. Um, you know how many people did it? Of course he does. Yep. <laughs> Two. Okay. Of course he does. Share that information? Sure. Two. Sergeants Jackowitz and Calasitas. Aha. What is, I probably figured out the game yet. 164, the NJRPA conference registration. Oh, uh, you don't know that? Which one? Oh, 163. 163. 163. 163. That's the Recreation Professionals Conference. Huh. Okay. Judy Johnson and Kristen Weber. Okay. So that was for two persons. Yes. Okay. And let's see, moving on. Back to the first page. No, 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 oh, you sure? No, no, no. It should be done by Tuesday. Uh, right. we see, actually, 172 Come on, the 2019 budget's due. Will you hurry up? <laughs> oh, 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 all right. Are you like the best one? Go ahead, Don. Take your time. Hurry up. 172, 173. You have two seminar registrations. One for almost 600 bucks. One for almost 1000 bucks. Uh, who, what, when, where? The first one is seminars for Project Extend for the teachers there. The second one is for the counselors um, there that, uh, for legal issues. Okay. Uh, and then uh, secure data, 188, <coughs> secure data recovery services. We had to give a server of CPR? Yeah, we had a crash in the uh, health services. And then we got a substitute barricade. One ninety one for almost six thousand dollars. Is this a backup system or is it a backup? It, we have multiple servers and multiple locations, and that's backing up everything. Okay, and that may may. <coughs> that's that's, awful. Awful. that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming, Don. There you go. Oh. Appreciate. It. Did I give you? I didn't give you. I got it. We got it already. Got we'll forego the, the formalities okay. for you. Friends here. Oh, All right. Anybody else on the consent agenda, resolutions, or vouchers? Come up to the microphone. Say name. See here. No. Somebody, please offer the consent agenda. Include minutes, resolutions eighteen zero five five through eighteen zero six nine. Someone, please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepika. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. And tonight we have vouchers in the amount of $11,551,527.58. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepika. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. And so tonight we have resolution 18057. Approve the continuance on the assessment installment payment plan for owner of Block 66, Lot 7. Who has become delinquent in their assessment confirmed on September 14th, 2017? Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Zepica. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. 1858, 058 rather, authorized the tax code to replace a lien on the following properties to abate the public health nuisance. Block 3312, lot 18, rather, for $61.50. Block 33, lot 34, um, 33.24, lot 2, $61.50. And see block 33.22, lot one for $98. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepika. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. 18059 authorized the purchase of a 2018 Ram 1500 SSV 4x4 crew cab from Hetrick's Fleet Service, Mildred, Delaware, state contract number A88729 at a cost not to exceed $29,672.35. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Zepica. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. 1860. Authorize the purchase of equipment needed to for the new Ram 1500 SSV 4x4 crew cab from Blue Line Emergency Lighting, state contract number A81334, at a cost not to exceed $11,734.38. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepika. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. 18061 authorized the mayor to execute a letter of agreement between the Township of Ocean and Mo 
Moshi Gohar. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I gladly second. <laughs> you beat me my hair chair. Gladly I gladly second. vote yes. Council members long. Uh, yes. <laughs> Napolitani. Yes. Chapica. Yes. And Mayor Sosiano. Yes, Rich, you said that with the alacrity of a child. It was on the note. Right. 18062, authorize a contract with Jungle Lasers, LLC, Allenhurst, New Jersey, to provide conversion services for the Department of Public Works, road opening permit registration, and annual fee not to exceed $4,000. Someone please offer? I'll offer. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Chapica. Yes. And Mayor Siciano. Yes. 18063. Authorize the amendment of a special assessment resolution number 17-200 approved this September 2014. <coughs> 2017, reducing the total assessment amount by $706 from $245,496.98 to $244,790.38. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepica. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. 18064, approve the continuance on the assessment installment payment plan for the owners of the following properties who have become delinquent for their respective assessment. Block 22. 25.22, lot 4 for $402.56, block 25.30, lot 6 for $919.33, block 40, lot 97, $240.51, block 25.21, lot 7, $229.02, and block 113, lot 10, $676.13. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepica. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes, 18065. Approve the renewal of a contract of Delta Dental for the flagship plan effective May 1st, 2018. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepica. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes, 18066. Authorize the tax collector to issue a refund to the previous owner of Block 25.30, Lot 1, due to overpayment of 2018. Property tax. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepica. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. In 18068, authorize the amendment of a special assessment resolution number 17-201, approved the September 14, 2017, increasing the total assessment amount by $320.03 from $239,206.32 to $239,526. Dollars and thirty-five cents. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepica. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. In eighteen zero seventy, authorize the use of the Baradesal General Contractor LLC to assist the Department of Public Works in snow removal services during the March twenty-first and twenty-second, twenty eighteen snow emergency, at a cost not to exceed twenty-eight thousand one hundred seventy-five dollars. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Chapica. Yes. And Mayor Sosa. Yes. And finally, for introduction, we have two ordinances. Ordinance number 2306. Then you want to read the title? An ordinance amending ordinance 2255 entitled an ordinance fixing salaries and compensation of certain officers, positions, employees for the Township of Ocean. And that'll have its public hearing at the April, April we do? 20th, 26th. 26th. 26th meeting. Thank you. Also, for introduction, Ordinance 2307. Oh, oh sorry. I move to introduce Ordinance 2306. Sorry. And I'll second it. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepica. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Also, for uh, introduction of Ordinance Number 2307. Want to read the title, Ben? An ordinance amending and supplementing Chapter 21, the Comprehensive Land Development Ordinance for the Township of Ocean. Uh, basically, we're making two uh, changes to Ordinance 23. Oh, 03, I believe it was, right? Whereas we're increasing <coughs> the um, distance from the residential zone from 240 feet to 260 feet. Okay? The commercial is 240, but to the next resident, the closest distance on, the, uh, on this site would be 260 feet. Also, that the uh, amount generated for the fair share housing is, not shall be, but will be, uh, 1.5%. Okay. Someone please offer. I offer to introduce Ordinance 2307. And I'll second it. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepica. Yes. And Mayor Sociano. Yes. Uh, at this time, anybody have anything, anything at all you would like to share with us, Jermaine Ocean Tangent, please step up to the microphone, state your name and address for the record, sir. Okay. Wonderful. Any changes as far as the sheet on Status quo. 
still empty. Yep. Uh, number two, uh, the very large house going up on Whale Pond and I don't know what the street mm -hmm. is. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. Sure. They're still in compliance with the work can't be suspended. For yeah, they're working. Actually, they're uh, finishing up the railings were done. They're working on the pool house, driveway. The concrete was poured this week. Yeah, a lot of action this week. So you notice that they're on Raymere now putting in the curbs. Yeah. We're going street by street. Once all the curbs done, then they're going to come in the pave and throw the pavement down. Right. But ours is done even though it's done sooner because of the mess up. Yep. Are we going to get any money? Out they're paying for it. Favorite yes, they have a sale this week on. I think it's what is it? The, pul the poultry and the bananas. Uh, that and that, mulch. <laughs> that and mulch is on sale. However, I'd like to know when the heck they're going to fix that blooming uh, jug handle. Yeah, yeah, Mike. We're 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 trying. Uh, yeah, Mike. we're trying to get to. I mean, we've met with him. We <laughs> sent him specs a hundred times over. Okay. Yeah, we're trying. Yeah, it's the same story. Yep. Yeah. Okay, just, you know, I, you know, I gave you a few months. You were very good about it, Don. Very, very reserved. You are very good. Thank you. Last, but not least, because I promised you, a four-time shout-out to the great people. Yes. At Public Works. Mary and Nancy. And I'll even throw Tom in. Oh, they all three, all three retired last week. I'm only serious. They're still here. Hip-hip hooray. Hip-hip hooray. Thank you. All right. Yeah, One more. I'm calling the police. All right. right. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Very nice. All right. There you go. Well. All right. Anybody else before we adjourn? Doc, you have something for us? 007. Got it. 007. 007. Questions. The stop sign coming off route 18 <coughs> 66. Okay. Just a few months ago. No, we'll reach out to them again. Yeah, call we'll them on that one. Also, the statue that we have outside, Nina Pinta and Santa Yes. Maria, will that be cleaned up shortly? Music power washing? We'll, we'll have to ask some folks around. It really is a mention. We know people that are into power washing. It can't be power washed. It cannot be power washed. Yeah. We know those people. It's... Sandstone, so it has to have something else. Sandblasted. And we have to get in touch with, I guess, the person that designed it and cut it. Sounds and, like jungle. Um, I will get you his name and phone number. This that week. guy? Yeah. Mr. Minervini, I think he passed away about 30 years ago, didn't he? Yeah. No. Okay, yeah, we'll figure out. We will have it cleaned the proper way. Yes. Sure. Thank you. Anybody else? No, seeing or hearing nobody. I want to thank you all for coming. Someone please make a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Deputy Mayor Chair. Yes. Council Members Long. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Shepika. Yes. And Mayor Sosiano. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Meeting adjourned. Uh, remember, we air twice a day at 10 o'clock and 7 p.m. at Channel 22 if you have files and 77 if you have cable vision. Thank you all for coming. Meetings adjourned. <laughs>